Here comes a wave. Oh and we'll take the back on the one there's a blue great in front of us. Uh, yeah. Well, back in our seven, getting close towards the back of the boat, too. Wow. Oh, okay. And there's a wheel, another wheel coming at us on the left side. Well, this is definitely the group we've had the last couple days. They don't mind our boat at all. They've gotten super close to us. We really like the two boils.
or not. Every once in a while, if you hear a whistle, that's a trumpet. That's a vocalization you can hear above water. But we do have that whistle right ahead of us here. That one's kind of rolling around a little bit. Sometimes we'll do that. In front of us, going over to the left. <laughs> he likes to follow in the back. Okay, the whales are moving out. The sea lions moving in. Interesting. The whales are moving away. That means the fish are moving away, I guess. I got the question, do humpback trowel and pods? They do not. They are considered a solitary animal. All baleen whales are considered solitary animals. I'll go over what that means in just a second. But they do form short-term bonds to feed and breed. That's probably what we're seeing here. These bonds are considered unstable. They only last a couple days to a couple weeks at the most. Oh, beneath On the right side? I don't know what that is. He's not going to jump in the middle. That's a whale. Jump <laughs> <laughs> with a whale. That would be pretty awesome. <laughs> 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 He's going under us again. There he goes. <laughs> He's waving. <laughs> well, we got to name this one. Barky? <laughs> Rover? It's got like a crooked chin or something. I don't know what's up with him. Special. <laughs> Let's call him Chin. Yeah, we hired him. Yeah. We fed him some sardines, but he'd show off for everyone. There's some whales up behind us. <laughs> Well, he disappeared.
does one behind us. Oh, there's three of them right there. Show you the video. There's a sea lion out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's dancing. Yeah, that's right. That's good. That's good.
curve when it came out. It could have been a little lunge, I don't know, but that was awesome. Fishing boats are coming in. On the right, and that was going to come up again. There it is behind us. their face. Those bumps are called tubercles. Inside of each tubercle, there's a single nerve hair. It's thought that that's how they find the big schools of fish, because those nerves detect the movement in the water. They also have two blowholes. All baleen whales have two, two blowholes. The ship's two disappeared in the fog. Have one blowhole. You might know tube whales as dolphins, but technically dolphins are whales too. It's thought that over evolutionary time, that second blowhole moved forward to create the melon, which is a sensory organ used to echolocate. No whales at 11. for a while. They should be coming up soon. Follow the seagulls, I guess. After seeing this bird activity, there could be a fall of sardines or anchovies beneath us, and that's what the whales are feeding on and the birds alike. Yeah, there's one right What is that? That's a feather. When whales take a gulp of water, they take in 500 gallons of water. When they do, they have pleats that go from their chin to their belly button, anywhere from 25 to 50 of them. They should be coming They do have belly button, since they are mammals. All mammals have belly buttons. These plates expand like an accordion to allow them to take in all of that water. Follow the seagulls. Seagulls landed over there. Seagulls are moving. They're disappearing. There's some seagulls over here. On the left. Oh. 
Here's the Philippines two boat bar to the left for the front of the boat. Those are salmon fishing boats. There's salmon fishing here in the bay. Oh, there they are. Oh, man. Whales to the rear.